Hi everybody. Um, so tonight and this evening and tomorrow, I'm trying to do a thing called a mile an hour or it's like a marathon in a day. So it's I saw a video last year by this guy called Four Miles where he he does it and that's where I got the inspiration. So the idea is that you run a marathon over an entire twenty four hours. So I started at six p.m. today and I did three miles in the first hour and then for the next 23 hours you do one mile every hour so that means you have about it probably takes 15 minutes to start each lap you know by the time you start the lap and and finish it and do it so then you have 45 minutes basically in between each lap and the idea is to fill that with lots of jobs so yeah that's the idea it's uh, a mile an hour so here it goes it works <laughs> okay so it's time for first go which is three miles for the first one so here we go. See you later. First lap down, so just another 23 to go. <laughs> so it's time for the first job of the day, which is a pretty one main one, helping Jen to make dinner, which is fried rice and fish. Time for lap two, still raining. Here we go. So oh, <laughs> that's mile number five done. Lap number three. So it's still raining pretty heavy outside. But at least that's three of the rain laps on it should only rain for hopefully another three or four of them and then I'll into the the dry like so I'm a bit daunted by the list of jobs that's to be done like there's a lot of them so I'm gonna start with this moment so the first one is back in my boots <laughs> so, the sewing is done like I would challenge anybody to pick up where that has been and uh, fix because you know it just it's almost impossible to see and like this t-shirt is in basically perfect condition other than that. Like it's hardly got any other holes or anything. So I think it's just not a good all I've had it 15 years. It's probably got another like 16 years in it. <laughs> it's time for probably the most glamorous job of them all. Fixing the wonky toilet seat. It's almost 10 o'clock, so it's time to go out for the next lap whatever that is. Uh, it looks like it's still raining outside, so I'm not very motivated, but hopefully this will be one of the last ones in the rain. So, let's go! So this is probably one of the most fun jobs on the list. One of the things that Bo Miles did was he played Scrabble, so I thought I could take a break and have Scrabble as a job as well. But it's Scrabble Australia, which we're pretty hemmed in so far, so not going so great. And it's Jen's go. <laughs> okay, it's time to head out on midnight lap rain has stopped mostly so it's a bit easier and off we go uh hi everybody so that's the midnight lap done which is number six i think so that's nine miles and um, the rain has kind of eased off so that's it's making it a little bit easier actually it's that nice to go outside um, and it should be dry for the rest of it but it's getting to night time so it's gonna be a little bit harder just to like keep going and stuff. Okay, so I'm out for my 1 a.m. run. It's lovely. It is dried up so I can get my phone out. Um it's actually quite nice at this time of night. It's quite mild. I think I might ditch to the jacket for the next one. But there's loads of rabbits around, there's a lot of rabbit slip around here, and there's lots of them out now. And when I was on my way coming up the lane, I saw fox so there's the fox that lives around here as well and I saw him so that's the wildlife update so it's quarter past two and I just finished mile 11 fine nice and dry moment um but now I'm doing the most exciting job of all I should be doing in the last hour as well but it's five so yeah so the most really crucial part of any adventure is getting a file on top. So it's mile 13 just done and it's quarter past four, so that's half the mile is done. Um, the running is going pretty okay. Uh, legs starting to get a little bit sore now. It's about 35 meters vertically up every mile, so that's starting to take its toll, but still okay. Um, thought I'd get some speed in the last hour, but I just wasn't really tired, so I kept trying to make the jobs. I think the problem is, like, at at the end of every hour just pouring into the running I'm really tired and then when I come back from the run like the heart rate's up and I don't know if I'm tired anymore so I don't want to go to sleep but now I have to try and get some rest so 
Trying to put a shot out. Uh, it's about 20 past 5 and I'm out picking up rubbish from the driveway down to our apartment. Um, I hope nobody passes our neighbours because they'll think I'm crazy. Um, tried to get some sleep in the last hour but it didn't really work. Just like too awake after each run every hour. But I did have a nice lie down for 40 minutes and actually I felt a lot better afterwards. My legs got a bit fresher so I'm going to collect some more rubbish and hope nobody sees me. It's 7.15 now, just been out for mile 16. Um, which should be the last one in the dark, so that's good. Um, definitely less tired now than on the previous slides, but I'm sure I'll be crashing later on. Um, saw the fox again on that lap, which is good. Uh, just been really busy with kind of lots of little jobs, but I'm kind of waiting now on something to come up so I can start some outdoor stuff like cleaning the bikes and cleaning the car and that sort of thing. So that's all to come. So for the first time it's bright and I've taken a 30 meter detour off my lap for this just to get a pic of this amazing view of Cork Harbour as the sun's going up. Next job is shaving. Job done. First run in full daylight. So? I need some focaccia. I'm baking focaccia under strict supervision gem. But now I'm in the 10 minutes meeting. <laughs> so, for the first time, I have some company on the run. Jen is out doing her Cove Cup mini run. So, she's going to join me for the first half of that. And then she'll be heading off and I'll be coming back. Say hi. Hi. So here we are, running in daylight. This is mile 20, I think I'm on. So, running is getting pretty tough. And just, I'm just drinking a bit sore. Just the climbing is getting tougher every time. But still, the times are okay. And also, it's just tough when you feel like you don't get a break between any of the jobs. Like, definitely pretty productive. I think you keep going all the time, but then it feels like no breaks. So it's tough to head out for a run. So I think it's like 11 a.m. now, so in the next hour or two, I think I will take an hour off and then not do any jobs during one of the breaks. Hopefully, I'll be good for the finish. Time to wash some bikes. <laughs> you can just cut this bit off the start. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so it's the second last lap, and we're 25. At the end, the inside. And Jen is going to join me on this one, so we should be good us. We have to wait for you. But yeah, so enjoy the second mask and we're going to get one more of them. Sun's going down and it's time for the final lap. Mile 26. Been a lot of fun. Definitely ready for it to be over. Two goals, one last one. challenge um, about half an hour ago and I'm now rehydrating 
so uh, yeah, it went really well. Um, I think, like looking back on it, I probably underestimated it a little bit. Like physically, it was probably about what I thought it would be. Like it's not that hard to keep going because you do get a bit of a rest between each one. So I'd say it's definitely easier than you know doing a straight marathon. Um, but I do think you know in the the video that Bo Miles did where where he did his he definitely probably made it look pretty easy. Like the bit I underestimated was just how tired I'd be sometimes in between. It's kind of fine yesterday evening and last night, but then there was, you know, three or four hours between say 11 and two today where I was just really wrecked between each one and, and just wasn't getting a rest. So for some of them, I, I just took some time off the afternoon jobs and, and got like probably 20 minutes sleep. And then I was good after that. So I definitely, yeah, probably underestimated a little bit um, how, you know, how tired it was going to be during. So on the jobs themselves, like in between each lap, um, it's, you know, I've definitely gotten loads of things done that have been on the long finger, some of them for like a month, two months, six months, a year or more. So it is definitely a good way to like do a load of things in one day that you otherwise, you know, might take you months to do. Um, and once you get into it, like you're super focused and you literally don't want to waste a minute. So even if there's like five minutes left before your next lap, you know, you'll do something to prepare for the next job. So, you know, even though I was quite tired for some of it, like when you're going, you know, you, you really are very productive, um, which I kind of find surprising, but it, it definitely is a great way to get all those things done. Yeah. So I guess I would say I'm really happy I did it. Um, you know, the, I really like Bo Miles's filmmaking in that, like, he's a great storyteller and, and a great filmmaker, but his whole, you know, philosophy now, especially, you know, with his newer videos is that you don't need to <clears throat> go to the ends of the earth to have an adventure or to kind of push yourself. And I thought the idea, you know, really shows that and, and definitely doing it, it does show it. Like it was, you know, a day unlike any other. But yet I didn't go, you know, more than a mile from my house. So I definitely think that idea of, um, you know, finding an adventure in your backyard is, is something that can be done. You just kind of got to look at things a few different ways or, or some new ways. And yeah, I'd highly recommend anyone to go out and try a mile an hour um, for 24 hours or 12 hours or, or whatever you do and just give it a go and, you know, find an adventure in your backyard. So yeah, that's it. Cheers.